Hey, so today we're gonna look at the main features of the PackSafe EXP45 carry-on backpack. This is an initial impression video and uh, I'll likely be sharing my thoughts on this bag again later um, after I get some long-term use out of it. So uh, let's get to it. If we are going to look in the bag, the first thing we need to talk about is the security features. So. PackSafe's big selling point is its security features. The main one is the XO mesh security mesh sort of system. And what that is, is it's a steel cable meshing that runs through the entire bag just below the exterior. Now, it doesn't feel super thick, but it seems like it'll stand up against uh, regular cuts and slashes. Um, a pair of cutters will probably blow right through it, but a razor blade or a knife slicing through, I don't think will stand a chance. The next is the rhubar system. And what it is, is it's this locking system right here at the top of the bag. Now this security feature integrates the interlocking zippers into it, which you see here. Now the zippers interlock uh, in this way, right? So you can see the two sections, those click together. Um, and then you can use this hole here to secure the zippers into the rhubar system. Now, the rhubar system is integrated right into that exo mesh or whatever, so it won't rip off, you can't pull it off. And I'll also show you this uh, cable system that's designed to fit in. So it comes in this little bag, and it's just a steel wire rope that you loop through. I'm not gonna unravel it, but that you loop through the mesh so you can use that to tie it off to things. Uh, so somebody can't physically take your bag. Another feature is uh, the zipper. You'll see a lot of times people say, oh, locks are great on bags, but you can use a pen and you can punch through the zipper to open it right up. Now this zipper is, I don't know all the details, but is specifically designed to not be puncturable. So it's, it's either not possible or much harder to puncture through. So that's not a concern with this bag, which is nice. Um, oh, another, another and last note about the rhubar system is here on this rhubar system, there is a hole for a lock here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a hole for a lock there. Now, I will be posting down below uh, sort of the maximum dimension that this can accommodate. I did pick up a lock for this bag, but the lock that I got sort of seems to be just sort of the exact maximum. So I'll post the dimensions of that down below, but I won't recommend the lock itself. Uh, actually, in order to shoot this video, I had to pick the lock because after like three lock cycles, it's broken. So I'll post the dimensions for that down below so you can kind of plan what lock you're going to get. And as well, I'll post a recommendation of what lock to not get. Let's get inside the bag. It has this nice flap. That's kind of nice. Covers up your rhubar system so that you, you know, sort of people aren't fiddling with your things. Even though they can't unlock it, still aren't fiddling with it. So there's two main pouches here. Uh, the main pouch is one simple, one simple open pouch, uh, which will open up here. Take off these compression straps. And it opens like a good piece of luggage. I just got a pillow in there right now, keeping it full. And so uh, there's just sort of the main open pouch with this nice compression strap. And then one single pocket. It's this mesh pocket that runs along the uh, sort of main opening. Or sort of the, the hood or the flap there. Uh, this is going to be good for putting uh, flatter things, um, but I would say because of the nature of the pouch and because of this pouch on the outside here, I wouldn't put too many bulky things um, in this side, in this mesh part, because I think it'll, it really messes with uh, being able to get into this second pouch. Uh, the front pouch, good and bad. So from a pocket access perspective, uh, for you, it's bad. It's not terribly well designed. I'm gonna zip this up again. So for your own personal access, it's it's not actually super good. It's actually a, kind of a poorly designed pouch or pocket. Um, it only zips like 20% of the way down. So that's as far down this entire bag as this thing zips. So it just gives you this little sort of top down only opening. Now that makes access to this pocket kind of awkward. Um, I feel like if anything ever drops down in here, you're never going to see it again. It's going to get lost in there, especially if the bag's loaded up. Um, 
you know, it, I mean, it's dark. You can't see. I mean, I got lighting for this video, and you can't even see in there. Anyways, but that makes it also, uh, from the perspective of other people getting in here and taking your things, it's not a super accessible pocket, which is nice. And I'm sure part of the, I'm sure the initial design thought. In here, there is a bunch of organizational pouches. So you see there's there's zipper mesh pouches, a couple of them, some organizational pouches, and then of course, along the inside, you know, it's a laptop pouch. It's not uh, felt lined or anything like that, but it does have some additional cushion. So that should be good. Okay, so we got the bag back together here. Just got it loaded up so you can see the shape and everything again. So some other features of this bag. Uh, this backpack is different from the original uh, sort of carry-on backpack by PackSafe because it included one fairly standard feature. It has a water bottle holder. Um, I mean, I, I'm happy that they included it in this. Uh, that was one thing that when I was looking at the other bag, I thought was lacking. Uh, if you pack this bag full, though, it's going to be pushing on this pocket, and it's going to be a huge pain uh, to get your water bottle in and out. Um, and then something else that's nice about this bag is that it's designed to be turned into sort of just like a nice smooth carry-on bag. So here on the backpack straps, um, down here at the bottom, they have this clip here. See that there? You can unclip that. And then in here, there's this little slot where you can put and pack away your backpack straps. I'm not going to pack it away. I mean, it is pretty easy, but I'm not going to bore everybody with packing straps into the thing there. Um, the the shoulder pads, like the arm straps, uh, they, they get an okay amount of padding. I mean, they're not... I wouldn't use this for backpacking in the woods, right? You're carrying multi-days, entire living supplies, and food and water. I wouldn't do it. Um, but if you're kicking around the city, moving from hostel to hostel... Um, maybe doing a single day trip or something like that. I think these straps will be just fine. So another thing about this bag is the weight. Um, it is heavy, but it's because it has metal mesh running through it. Um, I can see if I can post the exact weight down below. Uh, I mean, it's not 20 pounds heavy, but as, as far as it just being a, an empty backpack, um, it is quite heavy. I wouldn't use it Again, for like long-term hikes and stuff, sort of unnecessary weight. And I wouldn't use it for like a school bag or a day bag or whatever. <laughs> there's the cheaper, lighter options out there that are doing just fine. But if you want to keep your stuff safe, you want to make sure that your underwear don't get stolen. I think this bag's great. I'm very impressed sort of by the quality of it and the feel of it. And, and then while I'm traveling, I'll uh, I'll update, right? I'll create, I'll create an update on this. And just keep people informed. Hey, I love the bag. Hey, I hate the bag. And this is why. Hopefully this was quick. Um, but hopefully it was a useful look at the PackSafe EXP45. Um, if anybody has any questions at all, just leave them in the comments down below. Anyways, leave a like, a comment, and a sub if you feel like it.